Hi, I'm Ryan Thompson. I like all types of music on the violin, particularly music that's called fiddling, which is non-classical violin playing. This is an award that I won when I was traveling around through the United States and learning a lot about fiddling from different places that I traveled to. And I visited the National Fiddle Contest in Weezer, Idaho, and I won the Northeast Regional Award, the Blaine Stubblefield Award, which meant that I had the highest score of anyone from the Northeast area of the country. So I didn't win the whole fiddle contest, but I did win the Northeast Award. And I brought along a couple violins with me here. This violin here, this is my son's violin. It's a pretty decent violin. I like it. We play together a lot as the Fiddling Thompsons. Got a pretty nice sound to it. I like it. Let me show you my fiddle. It's a little different. This is my fiddle here. This was made by Gustav Wunderlich in Leipzig. Hope I said his name right. It's a pretty decent sounding fiddle. It's a little bit different than the other one. Kind of a darker sound maybe. And you may have noticed that I played this one a little different than I played my son's. Yep, I'm the guy that learned how to play fiddle twice. I learned how to play fiddle right-handed and left-handed. I have a disability. I have trouble playing right-handed. There's certain things that I can do on the right-handed violin, but I particularly stick with the left-handed violin now. And you know, one of the advantages of having my disability is that it's made me a really good violin teacher because I had to learn how to play violin twice. I had to learn all the way from scratch, right-handed, and then I had to relearn completely from scratch, left-handed, so I remember a lot about what it's like to bow and to finger and to do vibrato and to play fiddle tunes and so forth. And I put together a book here. And this book is called Captain Fiddles, Tunes and Variations. And it comes with a couple CDs of a lot of fiddle tunes in it. A lot of different tunes on the two CDs. And there's a lot of transcriptions, that is, musical notation of a lot of standard fiddle tunes including old time tunes, Scottish tunes, Irish tunes, bluegrass tunes, um, waltzes, all kinds of interesting French, there's a French Canadian tune called La Bas Strong, here's, a, here's the Eskimo waltz which some people call the Upic waltz, the Gentle Maiden waltz, chorus jig, that's a contradance tune. Now I put this uh, book together in a different way than a lot of people put tune books together. A uh, typical tune book will have written notation, and if it has CDs, it has CDs that someone played onto the CD, and they played it at a slow speed and a fast speed, and then they played the same as the notes in the transcription. But I did this in a little bit different idea. What I did is I played my tunes with all the variations that I ordinarily play. So I played the tune up to speed with all of the variations, starting with the simplest version of the tune, and then I transcribed my own playing into music. Now that took a long time, because sometimes when I'm playing a variation on a tune, I'm not really thinking about that variation. Sometimes I make up a variation right on the spot. And if it sounds good, I keep it in my repertoire, and in my bag of tricks. And so what I've done here is taken these tunes, and I've written down numerous variations. So let's look at the old time standard, Old Joe Clark. I've got a basic version of Old Joe Clark, and then numerous variations, part A variations, part B variations, variations with double stops, variations with different types of bowings, etc. Here's another whole page of more variations on Old Joe Clark. So this is real dance fiddling, real playing, where I'm actually playing the tunes and what I do for my variations, and I've transcribed exactly what I played when I was playing the variations. And that way I think you get a more accurate idea of the different things that you can do with fiddle tunes and what distinguishes uh, fiddle tune playing from classical violin playing. And obviously the largest difference is that in the fiddle tune, what we want to do is start with a basic version, and then we want to develop that version over our many years of playing the tune until we have variations and different ways of doing the tune that make it our own. So we can own the tune and have our own personal variation of the tune. There's no reason to play the tune exactly like someone else plays it. So this book that I put together, Captain Fiddle's Tunes and Variations. This is available through my own company, which is Captain Fiddle Publications, and it's listed on my website at captainfiddle.com. 
And um, I think that you'll enjoy it. I think it'd be really useful. I think you could get a lot of about authentic versions from this. And before we go, let me just play a little bit because I'm in the mood to play a jig. I was at an Irish session the other night. So um, I like all types of stuff, as I said. So I'm off to my next practice. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about left-handed and right-handed playing. And I hope that you'll check out my book. So go visit CaptainFiddle.com. Thank you.